There are a lot of people who are making videos in which they are champions for or defendants for their religious belief systems. And that's fine, I have no problem with that. But obviously if you're making videos like that, you must be feeling that your beliefs are under some sort of pressure or threat or something like that. And in that light, I do find it kind of amusing to see what people, so many of these people, are focusing on. All too often, religious people making videos championing their belief systems or defending their belief system seem to be addressing atheists. And that is peculiar, because in all fairness, all that an atheist will do when confronted with your belief system is kind of go, sorry, but what you just told me there makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And if you think that I'm buying it, you'd be sadly mistaken. That's the response you'd be getting from an atheist. Now, you may not be too happy about that, but on the other hand, is that a threat to your belief system? I don't think so. Why should it be? It doesn't require you to change any of your beliefs or anything like that. It just may be disappointing to you to realize that what you think are such great and convincing arguments for the existence of your God absolutely hold no water with the person you're talking to. I can see how that's disappointing, but sorry, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. No, what I think you should be a lot more worried about are the people a lot closer to home. People who actually believe or claim to believe in the same things that you believe in, but whose beliefs are a gross distortion, a caricature of the things you believe in. Their God may be called Allah or Yahweh, just like your God, but it's a caricature, it's a gross misrepresentation of your God. It's like a nightmarish vision of your God. But they claim it's the same God. They claim that they know the mind of your God. And they convince people who are, like you, inclined to believe in your God. They are trying to worm their way into their consciousness and change them from believing in what you, I assume, would consider to be the right way of looking at your God into looking at a distortion of it a misrepresentation of it and leading them off the straight and narrow path in the process, turning them from decent, ordinary, God-fearing human beings, or whatever you want to call them, into radicals, extremists, bigots, and whatever else. Those are the people that pose a real threat to your religious beliefs. If you are a moderate believer, I would suggest that you don't focus so much on atheists and other people who are simply not interested in your belief systems, but try and focus a bit more on those who are trying to undermine them, who are right next to you, turning your religion into a farce. Those are the people that are really threatening your religion.